I was very wrong in my last video, which I'll link to above here, about Dali 3. Because Dali 3 is actually insane. And in the previous video, I said that it was adequate or something like that for KDP. I stand by some of that in, in that previous video, but then I learned a couple of things about it, which I did not realize before. And I want to share some of that with you now. It's also really good at creating covers on demand. So I want to show you what I mean. I just hadn't quite realized how good it was. And I wanted to compare some of the prompts that ChatGPT comes up with um, and putting them into mid journey and seeing what the difference is. Now, there are actually several things that I've seen Dali 3 do really well now. And in this video, I'm just going to be focusing on covers because there'll be, I don't want this video to be too long, but I will do other videos on some of the other things that I've learned recently. The great thing about having ChatGPT alongside Dali is that you can really talk to ChatGPT. You don't have to put in a prompt. ChatGPT will figure out what the best prompt is. You want to be on ChatGPT4, so you, you don't even need to go into Dali 3. You could just talk to it right now. So I said, can you help me to create a book cover? It is for a children's book about a puppy who is scared of cats. I would like the cover design to be quite style and colourful. I would like the title to be Scaredy Cat. Now, I have no idea what this is going to do, so we'll just see. It's, it's pretty good, actually, but it has put it in as like a mock-up style rather than just giving me the cover. So I said, that's sweet, but I would like the design, please, not in a mock-up style. Okay, so in this case, it's done a lot better. It's sort of got a strange bit here, but that's fine. What well, you could still use this in Canva. I don't know what that is, a Sammy Scalding. Um, but they've done that absolutely fine. What you could do is then you could take this and edit it in Canva. As a starting point, this is pretty good. So also before you upload anything to Canva, make sure that you do enhance the image. So you could go to something like this, like upscales and just upscale the image on something like upscales in any case. So something quite annoying just happened, which was I recorded about half an hour more of the video and then realized that it wasn't recording as I did it in two parts. So the whole second part doesn't exist, which is unfortunate because I was showing in real time how to do the prompts for different things, but I'll show you anyway, some of the ones that I created. So with this one, I just did the expander tool, then added a box that you could put for text or whatever, but it wasn't ideal. So, I actually went and asked ChatGPT to do a kawaii cat coloring book and it created this. Obviously it had an extra eye on there, but that's fine because we could just take that out in Canva. So I put this onto Canva and I removed the eye, which you can do by just going to the image, putting edit photo. You can erase it by using the magic eraser. I also did the magic expand tool again and it created this image where is it with these extra cats which is fine uh, then was just putting a blurb bit on obviously you can do whatever shape that you want and also i put in this little heart here and colored it in black so now you have the option of using the draw tool here so you can use this to fill things in which i did over here just to show some other ones. This is something that happens quite a lot. I don't know why it kept doing this. I was asking for a dino one. This was okay, but it was a bit more of a mock-up style again. Then I also do a kawaii dessert one and I guess it did the extra eye and things. So then I tried a day of the dead theme. So I just said, could you create a day of the dead coloring book cover? Please make it kawaii and colorful and cute include pastel colors. So it did this, but the spelling was a bit off. We created this one, which is fine, but obviously it's got this outline. Then it created this one, which is perfect. And it also created this one, which is also pretty good. I added one to Canva. So if you go to edit photo and you go to text grab, it will grab the text in the image and you can actually get rid of it. So that's what I did there. And then obviously you can cover this up. But yeah, if you wanted to remove the text, you could use the text grab and it actually removes that text. Obviously, I don't want that to be removed, so I'll take that back. The other thing is you can actually get the prompt that ChatGPT comes up with by clicking on the image and going to the information. 
and it will give you the full prompt that ChatGPT came up with. And that's what it will be communicating to Dali 3. The title, Day of the Dead Coloring Book, is featured in a lively, kid-friendly font set on against a backdrop that complements the festive, pastel-themed sugar skulls. And for fun, what I've done is copy and pasted some of these into Midjourney so you can see what Midjourney does as a comparison. So at the moment, I've actually got this on Niji Mode 6. While these are nice designs, I don't think they're as good, obviously, as Dali 3 because Dali 3 adds text and actually just the overall composition of it looks better. And I did some others as well. This was one that I did for the Dino Kawaii prompts. This was one I did for the cat, the Kawaii cats. And again, it's even put some <laughs> words here, but they don't make any sense. And the design is not as good either. And then I did this for these creepy monsters that I'll show you now in ChatGPT. So then I wanted to go down a creepy Kawaii vibe. I tried these flowers and this was okay. <laughs> and then it did the weird thing of splitting the pages again and splitting them again but I really liked this kind of design so I tried to get it to correct it. I said the cover isn't in full view, uh, then it didn't really understand what I was saying but then I said the image is split in half, I would like the title to be centred on the design and this seemed to help. So then it came up with this which was better but not quite right. It came up with this which although it's a bit more of a mock-up page I decided to edit it in Canva so I took the pens out by using the magic eraser tool and then I added some extra creepy elements by getting these bows which I just found on Canva and I put a few of these bows in and then I just did this on the back but I mean you could just have this black anyway and have the blur bit on it or you could put some other bits there but then it did an even better job as I kept doing this regenerate button, which means that it just runs the prompt again, basically. So then it came up with this, which I de definitely think is one of the best designs that is done to date. So it just shows you that by regenerating, eventually, if you keep going, it can come up with something that is really good that you don't even need to edit. So for that, I uploaded that to Canva, but on the back, I just deleted the text and then added this cloud shape so that I could add the text in there for the blurb. This was another one that it came up with. So, and that was absolutely fine as it was as well. I just found this extra background on Canva, which is a kind of rainbowy design pastel. So it worked fine for using with that. And if we grab the prompt from this one, we could test it out in mid journey. And, uh, you know, if you do have mid journey, you might want to see what it does with the same prompt, just in case it comes up with something better. But one thing it's definitely not got the hang of in Midjourney is text. And while it's hit and miss in Dali 3, it's really doing well with text now. Okay, so look, it's trying, it's trying its best. <laughs> creak, creak, titty, creak, yeah, I mean, pff, yeah, I quite like some of the designs, but obviously the you'd have to take the text out. But I think I've just prefer Dali's designs. It's, it just does a really good job with the book cover designs. And I was really shocked because I did not expect this. I didn't know it could do this. So when I did my previous video and I was kind of a bit not down on on Dali 3 but I was sort of saying well mid journey is just much better uh, very much much better in every way kind of thing and now I completely take that back because it's definitely not if you are somebody who maybe you struggled with design or well, even if you don't struggle you can come and have a look and see what ChatGPT can create because it can certainly do a better job than I can and it does so in a matter of seconds. I think I said before that ChatGPT costs $25. That's not true. It's actually $20. So it's even cheaper than I thought. It's very good, very, very good value for money. And in other videos, I'm going to share with you some other things that I've figured out with Dali 3, including creating your own GBTs, which I had not done since yesterday when I just started experimenting with that as well. If I think anything's going to be useful to you, I will definitely create a video on that and share it. Let me know what you think. Have you got Dali 3 yet? If you haven't, are you considering it now, especially if it's going to help you to create book covers like this?
let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Obviously, I've experimented a little bit with the dimensions. It hasn't worked out for me. If you know a workaround with that, let me know. You can use other tools to change the dimensions if you want. But I've bought several of my books that are in this size and it works really well, especially for colouring books. So I've got no problem with it being like this. And I think I'll continue to create ones in this size. So I hope you find this video interesting and useful. Do let me know in the comments if there's anything else specifically that you'd like me to do in DALI 3 or if you have any questions about it. Obviously I'm brand new to it myself so definitely not an expert in any way but I'm gradually learning. Okay so have a great rest of your week and I will speak to you again very soon.